Good evening. Happy Monday. It's me, Cassandra, from Mobile Ohm Yoga, and I am here on the boardwalk of the San Pedro Creek Culture Park, ready to bring you another dose of our Monday Mindful Movement that we're here bringing you every week virtually from this beautiful space in downtown San Antonio. So this class is part of our free yoga series that is sponsored by our partners at the San Antonio River Authority. Um, so we're so grateful to be able to bring you these practices for you to be able to tune in and join us in the comfort of home. So thank you so much for being here. We're gonna start today's practice um, standing up on our feet, just like I am. Um, feet a little bit wider than the hips. And go ahead and come up if you're not there already. Once you've come to your feet, go ahead and open up your palms out in front of you, standing up strong from the soles of your feet to the crown of your head, and then go ahead and close your eyes. Take a few long, deep, full breaths here, in and out through the nose. Taking a moment to mindfully arrive in this space on your mat. This standing yoga posture is called Tadasana. In Sanskrit, it is translated to standing at attention. Stand up a little taller. Pay attention to the space that you're creating today. Pay attention to the intention, the reason that you decided to show up on your mat today. Embrace, stand, open up to this moment, taking one more deep breath in through the nose, and exhaling it out. And go ahead and inhale, open up your eyes. Let's take in a breath and stretch all 10 fingers up to the sky. On your exhale, you're gonna bring the right hand to your hip and just begin to tip over to that right side, taking a big, deep side body stretch. Big, full breath in and out. And your next inhale, coming through center, bring your left hand onto your left hip. Inhale the right arm up to the sky and then take it over to the other side. Pressing your hips to the right, opening up the side body. Your next inhale, go ahead and come back up to neutral. We're going to take your feet a little bit wider than the hips. And you're going to inhale, reach up to the sky. And as you exhale, we're going to just bend in the knees and bend in the arms, finding cactus arm, goddess knee. Inhale, stretch it up and open. And exhale, start to bend it down. Again, inhale, up and open. Exhale, coming down. One more time, inhale, up and open. Exhale, come down. Let's stay down as we're warming up in the legs here. Go ahead and flip your hands down to come onto your knees, and you're gonna come down deep here. So normally I know we try to keep the shoulders away from the ears, but here I want you to kind of shrug them up to the ears, take an inhale, and then start to dip your right shoulder in, press to the inside of that right thigh, big, full, deep breath. And then inhale back to center, exhale to the other side, and then take a big deep breath here. And then back to neutral. We're gonna inhale, stretch all 10 fingers up to the sky, and then turn your toes so that they're parallel. Exhale, bring the hands behind your back. So you're gonna grasp your hands behind the back, flip the knuckles down, and take a big inhale, lift up and open through the front of your heart. And then as you exhale, guiding with your heart, hands stay on the low back, fold forward. So your feet are a little wider here. Release the hands down to the ground. Taking another inhale, halfway lift, pull the heart long, and then melt back down. Take it into a nice passive forward fold. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. Another thing I like to do to release here is to roll the shoulders a few times, maybe even softening the face, taking like a horse breath. 
kind of shivering out the, the lips. Just a couple more moments. You can maybe take opposite elbows for a more ragdoll fold, seeing if you can add a little weight to the spine. You took that bind, release the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands come onto your hips, and you're going to guide your way back up to standing with your heart long. All right, go ahead and take the hands back behind you. This time you're reaching across for opposite elbows or wrists. We're going to take an inhale to stand tall and then begin to turn over your right leg. So you're facing your hips over to the right side. Take an inhale, get tall. On your exhale, we're focusing on folding at the hips but only until you're about parallel to the earth below. So pause when you're there, and then try to shift that right hip back and your left hip forward. Heart pulling long, rooting down into that right heel, breathing here. On an inhale, lead with your heart, come to standing, and we're just gonna turn your feet all the way to the other side. So now the toes are facing to the left. Inhale, get tall through the heart. And on your exhale, leading long, finding your way down to parallel to the earth. Shifting the right hip forward, left hip back. Each inhale, the heart gets long, pulling away from the hip. Keep rooting down into your left foot. One more breath in and out here your next inhale leading with your heart you're going to come all the way up to standing and then turning yourself all the way back forward take an inhale reach your arms out wide as you exhale you're going to take your right arm across the chest and make a hook with your left elbow so you're hooking that left elbow in close taking into the shoulder stretch try to drop the right shoulder away from the ear a few long, deep breaths here, in and out through the nose, maybe even closing your eyes. You can kind of move your hand and your wrist while you hold here. And then on your next inhale, open your arms up wide. And with your exhale, taking the left arm across, making a hook with that right arm, hugging the elbow in close. Soften your left shoulder down away from your ear. Keep lifting tall through your heart. Maybe you move around in that left wrist this time. And then go ahead and release. Take an inhale, all 10 fingers wide. And then exhale, drop the hands down by your side. We're just gonna turn now towards the top of your mat and step both feet all the way up and together. So feeling nice and awake as you find your Tadasana, that standing at attention this time at the top of your mat, recommitting to this practice this evening. On your inhale, begin to stretch tall to the sky, upward salute as you exhale, bow forward, hinging from the hips, hands come to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift, reaching long through the heart. With your exhale, plant your hands to the ground. Take a big step to the back of your mat. We're gonna find your first high plank or high push up here. So the knees can be lifted, strengthening a lot through the core, or you can drop the knees. You're still strengthening through the core, just giving yourself a little less intensity. Wherever you are, let's take one more big full inhale breath. And then with your exhale, begin to slowly lower all the way down to the mat. Uncurl your toes here. You're going to take your right arm and reach it out to the right side. You're reaching it straight out to the right side. And you're going to start to turn your body over to the right side. So you're rolling onto that right arm. The left hand's planted right in front of you. Next step, step two, only if you need more is to bend your left knee, that top knee, open it to the sky, and you're stepping it to the outside of your right leg. And this is a great stretch in the front of the right shoulder and the front of the chest. It's also getting into a rotation and twist of the spine. 
Lots going on here. You can intensify into a bind, taking that left hand behind you. And just staying here for another round of breath in through the nose. Completely letting it out. And go ahead, begin to straighten the left leg to meet the right and roll back onto the belly. Take a moment in neutral, left arm reaching out. And then you'll just slowly start to roll to the other side. Body coming on to the left side of the body, onto the left hip. Then the right knee, take it up towards the sky. Set the foot to the outside of your left leg. You can stay here with the right hand, pressing down, long, full and deep breath or reach the right arm to the sky take it around the lower back and take some full long deep breaths here one more breath in and out and slowly begin to unwind coming all the way back down onto the belly you're going to plant the hands right next to the ribs take an inhale this time you're lifting the heart straight forward, squeezing those elbows in, cobra pose. Exhale, lower. And then we're gonna press up to tabletop, take the knees wide and sit your hips all the way back onto the heels, bowing down forehead to the ground, getting nice and grounded for our first time. As we started standing up, it's our first time to really come down and melt into that stability of the earth. Just connect with that stability of our practice, of our mat. And with your next Inhale, begin to lift up through the head and you're just gonna walk your hands back toward your, your knees. So you're sitting on, on the feet. So you are meant to put a little compression on the ankles. If it's way too much and you have something you can sit on, we won't be here for all that long. You're gonna sit here on the hips, take an inhale, reach your arms out to the side. And as you exhale, come forward like you're gonna give yourself a hug. Hug yourself here. Really walk your hands back behind you as you can feel those shoulder blades. And then inhale, open your arms out wide. As you exhale, hug, bring the opposite arm on top, hugging yourself, walking your fingertips closer together behind the body. And then inhale, opening up wide. This time as you exhale, take both hands back behind you. Inhale, puff up the chest. You can stay here, or you can get even deeper stretch into the feet by leaning into the hips and lifting your knees up and away from the ground. Ah, oh, that's a lot, yeah. And then go ahead and set your knees down. Sweep your hands forward, and you're gonna tap your toes on the mat. All right, so from here, finding a tabletop, inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. And exhale, tuck and round. Once again, inhale, drop down, make that deep arch. Exhale, tuck and round. One more, inhale, belly down. And exhale to tuck and round. And finding a neutral down, or a neutral um, tabletop. I'm speaking ahead of myself. We're gonna find downward facing dog. So the hands come forward. This time tuck the toes, lift your hips up and back. Finding your downward facing dog. Walking out your heels, waking up the legs once again in a new way. And then both heels sinking to the mat. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale it out. Begin to inhale, look forward and walk your feet all the way to meet your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, bow it down. Sweeping all the way up, take a deep breath in. This time, hands are gonna come down to your heart center. Sink your hips low into chair pose. 
Finding a little more fire in the legs here as you shift the weight back. Back towards the heels, take the shins back. Sit a little bit deeper into the hips. Hands can stay at your heart or you can reach them up towards the sky, getting nice and strong here. Draw the navel in, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, take it down forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Once again, palms to the mat, exhale into your high plank, straight down through your chaturanga. So you can lower it back to the belly, that's where I'm going. And finding that cobra once again, or maybe a full up dog if you're there. We'll meet in downward facing dog. This time you're gonna inhale the right heel straight back behind you. And as you exhale, start to step your right foot between the hands. Spin the left heel down to the mat. And we're rising up to warrior one. Both hips facing towards the back of your mat. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, wrap that right hip back and your left hip forward. Bring your arms up to the sky as you inhale. And as you exhale, bring them out side to side. And then you're gonna come like you're hugging yourself again. This time purposely bring your left arm under. And then you can stay right here, hands hugging to the shoulders. Or we're gonna try to find eagle arms. So you're gonna take your fingertips up to the sky. Maybe you cross the fingertips or you just press the back of the hands together. Keep sinking into your right knee. And this time, see if you can lift your elbows. Even if you're grabbing your shoulders, lift your elbows high, soften the shoulders down. Taking one more breath in here. And then exhale, release your hands, come down to the mat. Right foot meets the left. Option to take your vinyasa or just come straight to downward facing dog. However you wanna get there. I'm gonna skip the vinyasa, but I'll allow time for y'all that are taking it. When you get to your down dog, just inhale the left heel high. And as you exhale, step your left foot in between your hands. Right heel comes flat to the earth. And we're rising into warrior one, hands to hips. Squaring that left hip back, right hip forward. Reaching tall through the crown of the head. Fingertips come up tall. Take them open wide. This time take an inhale as you exhale. As you hug yourself, take the right arm under. Sink deep into that left knee. You can keep the arms here or start to take your fingertips towards the sky for your full eagle arms. Ah, stay deep in that left knee. Reach your elbows up, big breath in. Stay for your exhale. And then on your next inhale, unwind your arms. Take them all the way down to the mat. Come to the ball of that back foot and you're just gonna step it forward to meet the left. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale, fold. Finding your chair, post it low. Inhale, your hands high. You can keep your hands higher at your heart. We're gonna start to practice balancing a little. Start to shift your weight into your right foot. Inhale, lift your left knee up. As you exhale, take it back behind you. Step it back, find your warrior one. Take an inhale. As you exhale, come back to the ball of your back foot. Step back into the right foot. Take your left knee high and then set it down. Bring your hands to your heart center. Ha, all right, we're gonna just try that on the other side. Just an easy little balance. Sit low in the hips, lift the arms. You're gonna shift weight into your left leg. Inhale, reach your right knee up. And then as you exhale, step that right foot all the way back. Finding your warrior one. Square the hips, take a breath in and out. And come back to the ball of your back foot. Start to shift weight into that left foot. Inhale, yeah, maybe you tap that right foot a couple of times. Lift the right knee. And exhale, step it down, hands to your heart center. All right, let's take an inhale, reach your arms out wide. Hug yourself here, left arm underneath your right. Staying with that hug or finding eagle arms. We're building blocks, putting the pieces together. Find your eagle arms. 
and then sit back into a chair. All right, this time you're gonna root into that left foot. Inhale, reach your right knee up towards the sky. Exhale, you're gonna step it back, but this time we're gonna turn open. Turn open into a goddess. So you're facing open to the side of your mat. Take an inhale. As you exhale, get a little deeper in the hips. Drop your elbows down in between your feet. Deep breath in and out here. And then on your next inhale, begin to rise all the way back up. You're gonna turn towards, those left, towards your left toes. We're gonna try once again to step into your left foot. You can even drag that right foot there first, then draw that right knee high. Now the full posture. You're gonna start to sit into a chair and that left knee cross your right knee over. Full chair pose, squeeze your thighs, lift the elbow. Think a little deeper. Take a breath in, empty out. And then you'll completely unwind. Unwind the legs, unwind the arm. Take a big stretch in the front body. And then exhale, take your hands by your side and let's just shake that side out. All right, just one more side and we're gonna come down onto the mats. All right, so we're starting with the feet together. Take an inhale, reach your arms out. As you exhale, the left arm is coming under. So again, you can keep that hog just like this and that can stay. Or the fingertips come up, back of the hands or palms together. All right. So I just set your hips back into a chair pose, keeping those arms in a bind. This time you're shifting weight into that right foot. Inhale, lift your left knee high. You can straighten the right leg. We're turning open and step it back. This time again, we're opening into that goddess. Inhale here. As you exhale, you're folding forward, coming down with the arms in between the feet. Take an inhale and exhale here. On your next inhale, come up, keeping your arms. Start to turn your toes to the front of the mat. And then however you want to get there, maybe you kind of tiptoe that back toe. You're going to start to come to standing, lifting that left knee up to the sky. And now sit into a chair in the right leg as you cross the left leg over the right. Squeeze your thighs, lift your elbows. Pause here. Take a deep breath in and a breath out. And then last time to unwind, reaching up and out. And exhale, take it down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Last chance to take a chaturanga. Hands to the mat, feet to the back. Take a mindful transition into your down dog, even if you're skipping this part. Take a deep breath in here and out. And you're gonna drop your knees to the mat. Keep your hands where they are. Just crawl your feet back until you come down into puppy pose. So your forehead is coming down to the mat. Your arms are nice and long and your hips are staying up to the sky. Another name for this is a heart melting pose. So Try to allow your heart space to melt down and back onto the mat. Taking one more moment here, really get grounded through the palms, the forehead and the shins. Drawing the navel in towards the spine, take an inhale and last exhale, melting that heart space a little deeper. Look forward to your hands, begin to lift up and then lower your whole body down to the ground. Slide those forearms forward to catch you in a sphinx pose. So your forearms are like the number 11, pressing down through the palms of the hands here. Deep breath in and out. You're gonna bend your right knee Turn your left forearm parallel to the front of your mat. Reach the right hand back to your right foot. 
or your ankle. Pull the heel in towards your glute. Maybe you press the front of that right hip down to intensify the sensation. And then with your inhale, lift your heart. And exhale, let go of your right foot. We'll switch. We're just finding a quad stretch here. So you're active in the arm. You're bending in the left elbow to pull that left heel in closer to your glute. Press your hips down towards the mat, lifting your heart. Just feeling all the sensation, breathing around it all here. And then go ahead and release your left foot. This time you're going to cross both forearms, bring your forehead down to the mat. Breathing in and out. And then we're going to bend your right knee again, reach your right hand back. See if you can also reach your left foot at the same time. If not, just leave that left leg extended, leave your left arm extended out. And we'll do this two times, so you'll get a chance to do the other side. Otherwise, you can grab onto both feet here, grabbing onto the feet or ankles. Different sensation this time. You want to keep the elbow straight, and the action is going to come from the leg. So you're gonna inhale, lift your chest, and on the exhale, kick your legs, maybe even flex your feet into the hands, but kick your legs or your leg, if you're only taking one, kick it back to lift you up. Now the stretch is not in the quads, it's in the chest, in the heart. We're opening it up, one more breath. And then on your exhale, go ahead and release. As you let go of your ankles, just let your feet fall from side to side like windshield wipers. All right, we're going to take, as promised, one more of those. So if you took just that right leg last time, this time you'll take just the left leg and your right arm will stay extended. If you took both last time, you can take both again this time. Take an inhale, lift up the chest. Exhale, kick the shins, the ankles, the feet back into the hands. Each inhale, you lift. Each exhale, you kick. One more breath in and out. Kick it back. And then exhale, go ahead and release the forehead to the ground. And let go of your feet. You can windshield wipe them side to side on their way back to the ground. When they get to the ground, tuck your toes under, lift up your knees, and just let your heels windshield wipe side to side. So you really feel that releasing into your low back. And then pause here. Hands are going to come underneath your shoulders. You're going to press yourself up and back and bring your hips. Keep your toes under. So we're taking the opposite that we found earlier. This one's called fire toes. Hips come onto the heels with those toes underneath, finding this very intense stretch in the feet. Take a moment to check in to the energy that that brings up, perhaps the resistance. One more moment in and out here. Uh, and then take your hands down, tap your feet to the ground. We're just going to make your way down onto the, into a seat and bring your legs out in front of you. One final fold here, both legs extended, moving the sit bones out from underneath you. Take an inhale to sit up nice and tall. As you exhale, walk the hands towards your feet as you fold long. So the secret here, instead of trying to reach your feet or your nose to your knees or anything, is to try to keep your back straight. So I'd rather you bend your knees and towards you to fold deeper so you have bent knees and a straight back, then to try to keep your knees straight and, the, and, and getting into that bent or hunched back. So for all of you, um, perhaps, because most of us have tight hamstrings, I want you to try bending your knees a little bit here. And from that, tip your heart and see if you can kind of feel the stretch really coming from that deep part of your low spine. Again, bent knees and a straight back. It might not look as glamorous, but it feels really nice. One more breath in and out here. 
And then go ahead and come up and make your way to lying on your back all the way down to the ground. Your knees coming into the chest, rock from side to side. Let your knees come wide to the armpits, soles of the feet to the sky. Hands come to reach onto the feet. And you're just going to let the shoulders come down. Let the knees sink towards the ground. Big, full, deep breath in and out here. Surrendering any last remaining stress from your Monday. Just surrendering to this moment. Bring the feet together, push the knees open wide, finding a little butterfly here in the sky. And then release the feet, hands come to the knees, knees come together, and then keeping them close to the chest, just let the knees fall over onto the left side so that they're on the ground. Then you're gonna open that right arm out to the right side. The left arm can reach straight out, or you can come bring it onto your, your knees as a, a, an assist here. Gaze up to the sky or over to the right side. A few big, full, deep breaths into your final twist here. Releasing. If you took the bind on the knee, draw the knees to center as you inhale. And as you exhale, just letting them fall over to the right side. You can use the right hand as that assist. Left arm reaching out long, big, full, deep breath. On your next inhale, coming back into center. As you come into center, lift your nose towards your knees. Give yourself a big, giant squeeze of those knees. And then release the head, release the legs, and sprawl yourself out. Make your way into a space of surrender, into your Shavasana. Palms open to the sky. You can walk the shoulder blades underneath you. Walk your heels a little wider and just let yourself completely relax. Taking these last few precious moments to do absolutely nothing but just be and breathe. Most of the hard work, or most of the obstacles that we face with our yoga practice, really just the getting here. And you rarely hear regrets of doing the practice, of going to class. And usually when you're in this space, in your Shavasana, that sweet treat that we work for, to find this precious space of stillness, of surrender. So as you soak in these moments, know that this place of peace is always in you, always there, accessible, and that our yoga practice is just it's a tool, a tool to help unlock the door. So taking these last few moments on your breath, soaking in this sweetness as you set the tone for the rest of your week.
just find gratitude. Gratitude for that wisdom that knew you needed this today. Dedication and commitment that you made to being here and trusting in that wisdom. Trusting in that place that resides within you. Begin to breathe a little bit deeper into this sense of gratitude, into this sensation of your body, moving your fingers, moving your toes. And with a sense of joy, with a sense of gratitude, reach your arms over your head, find a full body stretch, feel fully alive in this moment. Draw your knees up and into your chest. Give yourself a big hug and you can roll to either side or rock and roll front to back. However you would like to transition upright. Find a seat where we will close our practice together. Just find an easy, simple cross-legged seated pose. Let's take an inhale together. Stretch the arms out and up like rays of the sun that is about to set. Palms coming together and thumbs resting down at your heart center. With a heart full of gratitude, I commend each of you for your commitment to showing up today, for taking a time out to find some movement, some breath, and some mindfulness with me. I look forward to seeing each and every one of you again online or in person. Take your thumbs up to your third eye, up to the center of your forehead to acknowledge yourself and to acknowledge those that have, have joined in this virtual community. Again, I see you and I honor this light and this commitment that you've made today. Namaste.